guys, welcome back to Bee's Blog. This is Shraddha and in today's video, we are going to do a basic base makeup for all the beginners out there. So, I hope you enjoy the video and I hope you like the video. If you do, make sure you like, share and subscribe the video. Now, let's not talk too much and let's start into the video. So, first, I'm going to take these... Um, fresh one wipes and yeah I'm gonna clean my face first so that uh, before doing makeup so I'm gonna clean my face first and even to show you all that I have not applied any sort of makeup so yeah you can check them out you can check this out there is no makeup here So since we are going to do the base makeup, I have not done a base makeup and yeah, see, it's clean, like clean like a white paper. <laughs> so let's get into the base makeup section or tutorial or whatever you can call it. So the very first thing which is important is moisturizing your skin and as well as primer. So I recommend the uh, aloe vera gel because it works like a moisturizer as well as a primer. So I basically use this as both. I apply some amount of it like this. You can see that. Yeah, I take some amount of it, rub it between my two fingers like this and just tap it all over my face. Once the primer or the moisturizer is absorbed, now the second step is to apply foundation. Usually, I am not a foundation lover, but still, sometimes you do require foundation. So, here I am using Miss Rose Professional Makeup Foundation. So, I will just take some of them. You can just see, I have taken such a small amount of it. For foundation, you can either use a brush like this or, um, or a beauty blender. So I am probably, or you can use your fingers. So I am going to use my fingers just to tap it. You just need to tap some amount of foundation all over your face. And don't forget your neck. So I'm going to take a beauty blender right now and just tap my foundation over my face. So I just want to tap it like this. Make sure you don't rub it in a very ghai ghai wala manner. <laughs> what else if that right? If that thing is right. So I'm just going to tap my foundation. Just in case you might be thinking why is she looking down? Actually my mirror is there. So to tap the foundation, I'm looking down. So my foundation is done and the third step comes into the picture is concealer. So the concealer which I am using is the Pro Conceal by LA Girl. So yeah and every product which I use is there in the description box below just in case if you want to buy them. So you can find the link in the description box. So yeah that I want to say. So I'm going to take a concealer, apply it under my eye like this, some amount of it. Yeah, 
on my nose some at the corners and some on the forehead so this is the way i apply a concealer you can either just tap the concealer with using your fingers or you can use a beauty blender so i'm going to use a beauty blender and let's get started sometimes it becomes very difficult to use the beauty blender under your eyes so what do i do i just take the finger and just tap it in a slow motion so that it blends properly so you all can just see that the layer of the concealer just uh, you know discoordinates with the foundation the concealer is more bright enough and the foundation is just like your skin basic a layer on your skin so this is the way how a concealer works and the very first important thing when i started makeup was that whether to apply a concealer first or a foundation first the first step is to apply a concealer first because it is similar to your skin tone and it creates a layer concealer is to highlight your t zones and anything which you require or anything which you need to hide on your face so that's the use of a concealer so make sure you use the foundation first on the base and then apply concealer over the spots or over the things which you need to hide on your face so one more thing i forgot is that i need to hide these uh you know pimple marks so for that also i'm going to use the concealer not too much but some of them so i'm just going to take the ring finger and just blend them here just so that it gets a good coverage and my marks are not been visible So yeah I'm done with my primer I'm done with my foundation I'm done with my concealer then coming to the fourth step which is baking for baking I would recommend since you are if you are a beginner so I would recommend you to take this pons ka chhota bottle chhota yeah chhota bottle chhota dabba which comes approximately for 10 rupees yeah because uh, investing since you are a beginner investing on too many high loose powders or anything would probably not is not the right choice i suggest that so i still use this spons ka talcum powder because it works same as like a loose powder works so i'm going to use this i'm going to bake my face so that the shininess extra shine or extra oil things which a makeup contains doesn't uh, show off or mattify your face and your makeup stays for a longer period of time so let's start baking so you could probably take the blender which you are working with or you can take a new one just to you know bake all over your face i am taking this one because it's quite light and i can just you know shape it as i want so i'm going to take this and just dab it under my eye seconds are probably done and i am going to just take it and brush it off so yeah so you could probably just see that my base makeup is done and it has a different effect 
when I just did my foundation and my concealer, my skin was a bit oily, but right now it is being mattified. You could just check that, and it's looking more nice. For the people who don't want to use uh, counter sticks or anything, you could just follow the steps of baking, which I did. I just contour, you know, baked my this side and the side which is uh, my yeah whatever it is <laughs> it's basically like I just contoured the half amount of my cheeks which is the below one and you could just see that my cheeks this part is being contoured by itself because this part is being baked as well as this part so it creates a line of contour which is natural uh, yeah approximately it's a, it is natural using makeup yeah so you could just do that and this is how the final looks turns out to be of a base makeup i hope this video was helpful to you and if it was make sure you give me a like share and do subscribe the video it would mean a lot to me bye bye and that's all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed the video. I will see you next week with some new concept and new content. By the time, be healthy, stay happy. And see you next time. Bye-bye.